let's discuss uh, the first programming project of MATLAB and in this pro programming project basically uh, you uh, are asking user to provide you um, some samples right any samples and then you have to calculate the corresponding values of the quantized voltage corresponding to those sample values and you have to calculate the digital um, the quantization error and you have to plot the original signal samples that is that, that are given to you and you have to plot the quantized signal and you have to display in the command window what is the quantization error in decibel as well as in base 10 so that's what you are doing in this project so if I go to the steps so you are going to ask user to give you let me grab a pencil you're gonna ask user to give you some sampled data vector right so user is going to enter let's say if I'm giving you an input and you're saving that input in vector X so I can when you ask this question I can give you 0 0.2 0 0.9 1.5 0 0.6 whatever I can either enter the value as a vector or I can enter the value as uh, sine uh, 2 pi uh, times 0 to 50 so it's going to calculate 51 values from 0 to 50 uh, times uh, you know whatever 0 0.1 millisecond right something like that so I can I can the, uh, the point is I can enter samples any which way I want either discrete values like this or through equation like this whichever right just that, that depends on the user so once user give you the sample data you're going to ask user give the information about the ADC that you want to use to produce the digital code or quantized, quantized value you're not producing digital code here just the quantized value so user is going to give you what ADC values including how many bits are there for the ADC what is the maximum reference voltage that is V R positive and what is the minimum reference voltage we are negative so you're gonna ask these three things as a vector so user is going to give you number of bits let's say 10 comma 5 we are positive negative 5 we are negative so use as a vector don't ask individual questions three times and once user give you this then you can of course split it you can assign 10 that is the first value of this vector as your number of bits and you can assign the second value of the vector as your VR positive. You can assign the third value of vector as VR negative, right? But don't, do not, please do not ask the question three times as enter, enter the uh, number of bits, enter the maximum value, enter the minimum value. If someone is going to do that, I'm going to take points off because I really don't have time uh, to sit down and enter all three things uh, separately. Uh, so now you have four different items you have information about ADC you have input vector so from the information of ADC what you're going to do you are going to calculate step size Delta as we discussed in the notes then once you know the step size you are going to calculate the step number I for each input value right so you are going to calculate let's say if my first value is 0 0.2 then you're going to take that value from the input data set the first value and you're going to calculate what is the corresponding value of a uh, step number that will be assigned to that input value so you're gonna take round of the first value so the first value will be x of 1 minus what negative reference right those are the formulas we discussed in the notes divided by Delta so you're going to calculate what is the step number corresponding to the first value and then you are going to calculate what will be 
the quantized value corresponding to the first value. So I'm going to create a quantization vector. VQ1 is going to be this i, i times delta plus v r negative e. Okay. And you're going to repeat this process for each value. Each value that user is entering. So from each value of vector x. So at the end, when this process is finished, when you uh, get, when you are done analyzing each value of x, and you will produce the corresponding value of the quantized value, corresponding quantized value, then you have a quantization, quantized vector, right? Then you will have VQ, and each value of the VQ vector correspond to the quantized value for each value of the input vector. So now, once you have that. You have to plot the original function and you have to use the plot function, right? So basically that's plot n comma x, where n is your number of input samples. And then you're gonna plot the quantized function, so quantized vector vq, but you're gonna plot that using a stairs function. So that it's a stairs function basically produces a sample and hold type of graph like this. So it's gonna hold the value until the next value arrives. Uh, until the next time instance arrive. So you're gonna use a stairs instead of plot, you have to use a stairs. N comma VQ or XQ, whatever. And you're gonna plot these two on the same uh, plot, on the same window. So basically you are going to use hold on function. So before you start plotting, use hold on. And then you do the plotting, plot, n comma x and then stairs n comma xq or vq and then once you are done with this then you're gonna basically uh, put hold off so you're gonna release that figure hold off oops so you're gonna hold off hold off basically is going to take hold off is going to take that figure uh, it's going to release that figure. So now uh, you can um, open another figure and do whatever you want. But in any case, anytime you use hold on to hold on to one figure to plot different things, make sure you release the figure uh, once you're done using hold off. So this is basically what you're doing in this. And the last thing that you're going to do is you are going to calculate the quantization error. Quantization error, EQ. You're going to calculate EQ, which is VQ minus X, or X or V, whatever you're taking. I, I don't care which variable. So you're going to calculate the vector corresponding to the quantization error. And then you are going to calculate signal to noise ratio for the input that has been given to you. And remember, signal to noise ratio, as we discussed in the notes, there are two uh, formulas that we discussed. One, if you have the theoretical signal, and one, if you have samples. So use the formula, which is for samples, because now you have samples. Your X is sample, your, your VQ is sample, uh, your EQ is sample, right? So use the formula that is given for samples, and calculate the signal to noise ratio in log 10, uh, in the base 10, as well as in decibel. Again, you have to consult uh, what is given in the theory, in the notes. So this is the first uh, project. And uh, I'm not sure, yeah, I think, uh, all right. So this is the submission information. Basically, um, your first name, underscore last name, underscore project one, um, is what you're going to submit. Also, you're going to submit a paper, and just a paper. And you're gonna explain in your own words how what is the process of analog to digital conversion and what are the what is sampling what is the effect of sampling under sample over sample uh, critical sample what is the quantization how does it affect errors quantization error and all those things and, and digitization so make a paper make a write a good paper and you have to submit the paper uh, as well and the uh, m make sure to submit the paper in the pdf file and name should be the same, your first name underscore last name for the paper, that's about it. This is some of the sample program outputs that I'm giving you. So 
I have I have a signal um, y that I'm defining, and I I'm keeping it in the memory to use it with this. So I, I define a signal y. It's an input vector, and I'm using that vector. Uh, ADC has has a four bits. Maximum reference voltage eight. Minimum reference voltage not negative. Now I'm showing you separately over here. I'm showing you separately over here. But once again, please make sure the last three things last three things has to be entered as a vector when you you have to ask the, the question input enter number of bits maximum reference and minimum reference voltage of the adc so again i'm not i'm not going to enter three things separately i'm going to enter four eight and negative eight and then you can go ahead and you can you know divide it uh, as, uh, you know you can extract if this is, let's say, your um, I don't know, Q, where you're keeping this vector, then Q of 1 is going to be N, number of bits. Q of 2 is the other way around, sorry. N is equal to Q of 1. Then uh, V are positive, let's say, Q of 2. V are negative Q of 3. So it is very easy to assign the values, but in general, I find it convenient when I'm grading 20, 25 projects. I find it convenient if I can answer, if I can enter the values uh, in one as a one vector instead of entering them separately. So make sure you do that. So this will be the plot. So this is my input vector in blue that I basically generated and I kept it in the memory to be used with the program. And then the staircase is my quantized value. And the legend also mentioned that as well. So this is project number 